Welcome to another Sith List reaction episode. This week, Book of Boba Fett, episode four, chapter four. We don't even know what it's called yet, but it's about to begin. Amaraj, that's last. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right, man. Uh, are we going to see uh, some type of old school uh, warriors come out to play with the like oh, the, the water, the, yeah. the glass the bottles, the and who's who's the pikes coming up to call out Boba to yeah. come out and fight in the street? Oh, yeah, we might get that. We actually might get that. After that crazy episode last week, we saw Black Crescenta go crazy mm -hmm. and then run off and do a little sprint. And then we saw his new crew come out and um, they're kind of helping him out. So, <laughs> yeah, this could be anything. It could be anything. It could be anything. So, I'm not going to even predict what's going to come on. I think we should just jump into it yep. and see what we got here. Yep. You ready for this? Oh, yeah, totally. Guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. I say it every week because I want you to be a subscriber every week because we want you to be here for the ride that we're going to take for the next, I think, three episodes left of Book of Boba Fett. And then Plus, beyond. We got all kinds yeah, of, and so much beyond, other stuff right? We got coming. all kinds of cool stuff. That's right. Yeah, it's going to be great. Guys, let's start this thing. Here we go. Chapter four, Book of Boba Fett. Let's go. Back in the back to, huh? Back in the back to. Back in the back to again. <laughs> Just a man in his bantha. Oh, he's going to take some oh, here vengeance. We go. Here we go. Oh, so yeah. He's, sc he's scouting it out. Oh, uh, see? They always leave one. Ah. You don't do that. Uh oh. Uh, he got something to eat. Jeez. And a womp rat or what? Oh. Uh -oh. Whoa, what the hell? What's Dude, going what on? What's going on? Whoa. Did we just get... Oh, I thought I just heard the Mandalorian little the little noise there. That's Finnick! That's Finnick! That's Finnick. Now this is a legit flashback. So nice. cool. Nice, nice. Nice. Little Star Wars house music in the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap my my enhancements too here. <laughs> oh, you don't you don't do that. He's about to die. Well, he's gonna have a lot of credits. So uh, hopefully. There you go. Well, you should have started with that. Nah, with the money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Little cybernetic montage is what we're having here. So can she? So she can digest food and stuff, right? I mean, she's eating like a champ. Yeah. Yeah, there's blood flow, kind of, or was that... I don't know what that was, actually. Why don't you go to the loser room? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a shock. Yeah. You are Master Assassin Fennec Shand of the mid room. Oh. Help me recover my fire spray gunship. Oh, did you hear that? I heard that. Where is it? That's the name of the ship, huh? Oh. Look at those two. So this flashback's gonna take us to him meeting Din Djarin to get his armor from Cobb Vanth, right? I think we're gonna see his, you know, his gun, his gunship, Slave One. That's what we're gonna see. I don't know if we're gonna see Vanth yet. Let's take a closer look. That's right. Wow. We're getting a little tour of Jabba's palace, man. Uh it's like a Zillow tour. Yeah. It's gonna project everything. Oh That's so cool. Well he got a full That's tactical really cool. layout. That's pretty amazing. Too many gods. They're gonna have to go through a lot of rancor shit right now, I would imagine. Well, now we know why Bib gained so much weight. Uh, oh! He's eating like you trying to escape your dinner, buddy? You don't go home. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. More rats? Chef droid and a sous chef droid. Is that how it goes? Oh, what? The chef's going to become a... Oh. So is that a chopper? It's like the General Grievous. General Grievous of uh, chefs. I am. Oh. I am Boba Fett. Can we go now? 
Let's go. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. That's rad. Hello. That is awesome. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh. And the alarm. Uh -oh. That's not good. Well, hey, it's not. It really isn't Star Wars if there isn't a full shootout when you go to retrieve your shit, you know? That's true. Finnick has aim assist. She's out there just plugging people with single shot. Oh, she's the best, man. Turn that baby around. Look at that. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Nice toss. Get your gun, girl. Get your gun. There you go. Look at that. Fire spray is always, off. Always great to see that. Oh. <laughs> oh, here you go. He's just gonna pick off this biker gang, that's for sure. Oh, he's gonna come from behind and pick them off, right? Oh, look at him. Look at him from up there. Damn, you guys are screwed. Oh, it's the legendary Boba Fett. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's the legendary Boba Fett bringing down the rain. Nice. <laughs> She's like, nice shooting, Sonny. <laughs> oh, it's a Sarlacc. Oh, oh, look at that. He's going inside. Wait, what? You're going inside a Sarlacc pit. Dude, what a cool shot that, that is. That is sick, though. Yeah, that is. That is so rad. <sighs> oh. oh! Oh! See? See? No, no, no. <laughs> Start shooting. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Oh, seismic charge. Are we doing a seismic charge? Oh, we just did a seismic charge. Oh, dude. I mean, that was epic. I don't care. That. Damn. That was epic. Next time, don't touch my buttons. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his armor. Well, we're back in present. Yep, yeah. yep. Oh, Hey, oh, I don't like Trandoshans either, man. They freak me out. Man. But Wookiees don't like Trandoshans, right? Yeah, they don't like. No, no, they they're don't. rivals. They, uh, yes. Yep. I got. I got. I want problems always. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, Black Black Santa is gonna be in Boba's tribe, man. I remember your years in the pit. Your knuckle dusters are more feared than blasters. You've met. Every challenge, you've won. Every trophy. Play. He's about to rip those arms off for Raj. Yeah, he is. In this more civilized place, in these more civilized times, I will wipe your debt off the books. Well, now, don't rip his arms off. You get to drink for free? He's ripping his arms off. Hmm. They're coming off right now. Hmm. Oh, one, one arm. One arm. I'll pay half my tab. How about that? Oh. Hey, mate. Looks like you could use a job. Dude, he's, he's that is job. menacing, man. I'm here to make a proposal that's mutually beneficial. What prevents us all from killing you and taking Ooh. what we want? That's true. Oh, there it is. Oh. There it is. <sighs> The Rancor probably feels a threat. You know how it's connected? Yeah, the Rancor knows, the Rancor knows what's that. He's been training. Yeah, He's been training. Right. My deal is a lot better than what the Syndicate would offer. Either way, we must prepare for war. What I'm short on is muscle. Credits can buy muscle. If you know where to look. Oh. Oh! 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 oh. I just got goosebumps. Oh damn, oh damn, what is this set up for? Well, there you go, it looks like we might have 
a big surprise next episode. It was okay. It, it had it, it was slow, but it had an impact. It, it gave yeah. it, it, it again. It pieced together the meeting between him and Finnick. Great. It also stepped up. You know him truly setting up, saying, "Listen, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to run this place." I'm going to do it in a certain way. I don't want to kill any of you guys. I don't want to go through fear. I want to go by respect. Respect me too. I really like this approach to how he's trying to be mm-hmm. a gangster. In, uh, and, guess, and you know what? This is just opening up at other parts of Star Wars. There, there's mm-hmm. so much going on. We've talked about this before, and it's really cool to get more of the like underworld, legit like gangster stuff that's going on and to see the other right. families. And there's a whole nother level of star wars happening that it doesn't concern layers and layers yeah that doesn't concern the force it doesn't concern lightsabers it doesn't concern mm-hmm. jedi and sith it's like gangster shit man and it's cool man i like it <laughs> dude. yeah i like it too yeah I, I really like the episode actually i like mm-hmm. i even like the pacing i mean the the little fun uh little ratatouille situation was it was interesting but yes. other than that i thought the episode was great and, right. and you need some of that levity you know uh, yeah. with an episode like yeah. this so I love to. I love how we saw the actual, the beginning of Fennec and Boba. Mm-hmm. I thought that was phenomenal, and it's all leading up to, I guess, Din Djarin coming in, or that's what it looks like. I mean, and right when they said that, I thought she was thinking of Cobb. Um, I thought no, I thought she was thinking of Cad Bane, and I was like, oh my god! But then they played the music, and then I guess that yeah, tells that it, little so. like, uh, mm-hmm. whoa, whoa, Dude, whoa, yeah. Whoa. That yeah. that right there, man. I yeah, my hair started standing up. Oh, Jeez, right. that's yeah, that's this is gonna be amazing. And, an, and another thing we didn't talk about, Black Crescenta looks like that he's gonna be working with Boba, and that's gonna be phenomenal. And that's what I thought was gonna happen uh, after they released them, anyways. You know what? But yeah, that's really cool. That's cool, man. You know, he obviously they had an issue. It was all business, nothing personal. Which yeah. it's when you think about it, it's hard to live by that motto or to, to to take that kind of mantra but it does work in a way you know in some respect yeah, yeah, yeah. i get it if yeah. someone's about to murder you it's like hey it's business nothing personal that's different but here it is this is truly what it is hey guys listen it was wasn't it's all good you want to roll with me cool we've known each other let's do this thing and they're just gonna go for it and hopefully the loyalty thing works out with black chrysanthemum too like it did with Finn. yeah yeah i hope so i hope so because uh, the more black Crescent we have, the better. The better the whole episode. everything is. That's right. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us for Chapter 4. It was a great one. Can't wait to dive into the next three. We only have three left, so things are going to be ramping up, as we could tell by the last scene of this one. Uh, man, oh, man, please subscribe. We, we would love to have you for the next three. It'd be amazing. And obviously other things that we're going to do in uh, pop culture and crazy fandom. For less, I'm Araj, and we'll catch you next week right here for Chapter 5 of the Book of Boba Fett here on The Sith List.